Canadian Tire Motorsports Park is the host of the final road course race on the Gamer and R Sportsman Series schedule, where we cross the United States border one more time into Canada for race 18 of the Sportsman Series. This is the Tim Hortons 225. Evan Hunter starts on the pole with a lap time of 1 minute 15.345 seconds on a track type where track position is key right after Marcus Yepes narrowed his gap back down to 40 points after last race at Thompson. Yepes doesn't start too far back in fourth, so Hunter will definitely want to try and pull away as soon as possible. Starting beside Hunter will be Andre Auto driver Hector Garcia, who is looking for redemption after the previous event. The winner of the last road course race, Rose Henson, will start second on the inside and is searching for her second race win of the season. Look out for her to be a strong contender, and another driver to note is that 69 Toyota of DJ Reed, who sits third in points, now 140 back after Thompson. He starts up front in seventh, but behind the other points contender, so he'll have just a little bit of work to do in order to get closer to the championship battle. This track can allow the cars to carry speed, but becomes highly technical at points, so the driver's prowess will be tested with sharp corners and heavy braking. We could see more spread out racing here today, but that doesn't mean that contact between drivers is unlikely. As the field rounds the final corner towards the start finish line, green flag is out, we're racing at Mosport. It is Hector Garcia in the 31 who snagged the lead away from the 11 of Evan Hunter from the pole. He's now first by half a second over Rose Henson. Hunter back to third, right into the clutches of the 77 of Marcus Yepes. Looks like Henson has already closed in on Garcia, though, as she rockets down the hill. And into turn number five, goes a bit wider than the 31. Let's 31 get some space. Some more battling back here. No, uh, that's the 69 of DJ Reed. If he gets past this 10 car, it'll be a... Uh, Top three in points, uh, three, four, five. Garcia's going to get away to lead the second lap here as DJ Reed is through to P5. And we got a caution out on the racetrack. Looks like the 12 of Anderson Reed... And the 84 of Cody Goforth have damage. Uh, I believe we may be racing it back. I'm not quite sure though. They seem to be maintaining speed. So we'll check out this battle here for position. Field's going to get bunched back up. But you already know these guys are going to be trying for whatever spots they can get. As you see back there, 
the 86 right to the back bumper of Garcia before she pulled inside. And they'll go side by side down this downhill. Henson has the preferred lane, kind of bumps the 31 out of the way. And give Henson the lead, coming to the caution flag. She will lead them to the yellow. And it looks like these guys have already raced it back. So this first caution looks to have involved the 12 and 84. We'll get a few replays on what happened and bring you guys back to the restart. All right, so down the Andretti straightaway, these guys went and hanging into turn number eight. Looks like the 12 kind of gets under the 84 and hanging into turn number nine. That spins the 84 around as well as the 12. They both head into the tire barriers. We'll get another view of this one here shortly. So yeah, here it is again. The 12 is going to pretty much just not give the 84 much room. And Anderson Reed and Cody go for a slide into the tire barriers. All right, we'll just see this real quick one more time from afar. Very simple wreck to bring out the first caution. Some hard impacts, but luckily those uh, are not concrete walls. They've just got a, a barrier for them to hit. So these drivers are completely fine. Word of caution for the first time today. We'll get back to the restart here soon enough at the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. All right, so we got the one to go here at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park real quick. Your top five here will be the 86, the 31, the 11, the 77, and the 69 as they come to the green flag here shortly. The 10 will be just outside the top five. He currently resides in sixth, seventh place. Is Zachary Delillo, a runner-up last race, hoping to back it up with another top 10, if not another top five. Uh, the 25 currently eighth place. Uh, so we got the top four in points all within the top 10. And he got the 28 and 89 to round things off. Just looking inside the top 10, is the 99 of Colin Teague. So if he gets into the top 10, that would mean the top 5 in points would be all in the top 10. Mathis Ball is back here. And the rest of your field. So for the first time today, the field bunched back up. Uh, it was a battle between Rose Henson and Hector Garcia to get the lead at the moment of caution. So we'll, we'll see how the rest of this race plays out. Once again, we got our two championship contenders back to back. And it looks like Hunter immediately gets away from the 77 here. Top three get kind of spread out, but they condense going in to the second corners. And through three here, they maintain relatively equal intervals from each other. The 11 kind of went a bit wide, kind of an unconventional line, but he's able to dive it in deep there. Look out, the 86 went wide. And now here comes the 31 trying to pounce. He's not able to quite yet, but who is able to is the 77, but now he doesn't have the preferred lane heading into this uphill the top three in points now. They are all bumper to bumper to bumper here. Going into eight. This is the trouble spot. That's where we saw a dump last time. And uh, these guys are pretty close in points. But now here comes the 69. He'll have the preferred lane heading into this corner here. But... Marcus Yepes is uh, making sure to shut the door. Might not be over yet. Reed's riding on that back bumper. And without a doubt, DJ Reed is 
probably very desperate. He is back by 140 points after Thompson getting in a wreck around the middle of the race. And he had just gotten within 90 points of the uh, points leader looking to get back into contention. But with both of the title contenders riding right in front of him, he really wants to get by and uh, separate himself from them. But we'll see how he can do that as a 10 seems to be pulling to the inside. Kind of just peeking, trying to get some clean air on that 69 Toyota. Battle for second here is the 31 and 11. Hunter had it, but they kind of touch through those two corners. 31 goes wide and gives up third. Now here comes the 77. Will he try and capitalize on this? He had the inside lane, but gets tucked up behind the 31 for now. Whatever Marcus Yepes does, he cannot let that 11 too far ahead. Right now, it's a 10-point gap that Evan Hunter would gain on Marcus Yepes. So now it would be 50 points if Hunter finishes where he is right now. But if Hunter is uh, passed back by the 31, or if Yepes passes the 31 then it will be a 45-point advantage only for Evan Hunter. Let's see if there's any battling back here. It's the 32 and 89 battling right here. Uh, Doge Borkington, he was 11th last lap, and now he has entered the top 10. Look out back there. The 03 has just hit the wall right there there and that's going to cause the 36 to head into that wall hard and Nelson Reeves is going to go outside the track under caution for the second time today and the 69 has just gotten past the 77 here so now would be a 55 point gap And Evan Hunter is within striking distance of this lead. Now that we're going to have a, another caution to bunch of the field back up as Nelson Reeves still tries to explore the outside of the track here. But if he wins this race, then he gets 25 more points than second would. So then that would be a major gain for him over Marcus Yepes. But it'll be the 86 with a, uh, it's got to be at least three seconds now. Yeah, so a three second lead over the 11 of Evan Hunter, the 31 of Hector Garcia, DJ Reed, and Marcus Yepes. So we'll see what brought up the second caution of the day real quickly here. It involved Nelson Reeves and the 36 of Peter on Jack. So this all started up ahead with the 03 going wide, hitting that wall, coming back up front of the 36. That kind of gives the 36 and 15 no room there. And the 15 and 36 on Jack spins out. The 15 spins outside of the racetrack, kind of gets into that gap. We're going to use this one. So yeah, here it is. Again, pretty plain and simple. The 03 kind of just comes up right in front of the 36. The 15 was probably not expecting that. It was a hard hit for Peter on Jack. The 15 kind of faces through that ambulance there and uh, goes right through the uh, the wall. And, um, you know, that, that, that gap right there has to be there for the safety personnel to get out and tend to the drivers. But... This time, uh, we might have had a bit of a weird occurrence here relating to that. So, under caution for the first time today here at Mo Sport, 
Bring you guys back to the restart, the second restart of the day. Alright, welcome back to Canadian Tire. We've got the 86 leading here uh, once again. And it uh, looks like the 36 is going to try and get his lap back, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, we'll just say he takes the, the wafer round. Uh, the 11, the 31, the 69, your 77, the 77, your top five. Uh, Zachary Dolo just outside the top five. He is sixth place. Kirsten Martinez, seventh, eighth. Uh, ninth is the 25 of Stephen Cologne, and right at the top 10 is the 32 of Doge Borkington. Uh, Landon Thomas is out. I think he had some side damage from that. We'll have to see why. And the 17, I was thinking of why we didn't see them this race. It is because they were tired with a valve issue. So we are back. Green. Not the best restart for Evan Hunter there. The 31 is going to immediately get inside and take the 69 with them. Oh, but the 77 also left room there on the bottom lane. That's going to give Zachary Delo some room. So Hunter just gets passed by uh, Garcia. The 69 trying to close. The 77 trying to block two lanes at once. But look at the 29 get a huge run there. Fourth thing, the 77 kind of wide. Contact between the 32 and 28. And now DJ Reed trying to go to the inside of Evan Hunter here. And what a restart that was for Borkington as he's now gained a few spots here. It looks like Reed is going to get the spot. And right behind Hunter is a Nova Sport driver who's going to take it into the corner. And it's the 36 who's into the pit wall. And the 31 goes wide. The 11 makes some contact across the line. That would be for third. And we are under caution once again. So now Garcia probably went wide that final corner and the caution is probably for Peter on Jack uh, putting it into the pit wall. I'm not quite sure why that happened, but we'll take a look at this one and see what brought out the third caution. So we saw on Jack trying to get around. I, I guess he was going a bit too fast because he puts it into the pit wall. Uh, this is just the problem with our 2003, so nothing is really going to come out of it. So uh, that's, that's just what brought out the second caution of the day we might as well look at what happened to landon thomas because we've got nothing else to look at under this yellow flag so we'll cut to that right here so some hard racing with zachary delo is what got the 10 out of the race the 29 just kind of pushes the 10 wide and that makes the 10 kind of touch the tire barriers uh kind of giving him some heavy damage there so that's what happened to take Landon Thomas out of this race and behind him is the uh the cause of the caution. We'll take one more look at the uh race back here before we get back to the restart. So here it is, really not much to point out other than the fact that the 31 just kind of goes wide, gets it into the pit barrels or the, the just the tire barriers the same way that the uh, 10 did, so we'll see how he fares. We'll see if he's still in the race. But it was a hard-fought battle for position between the 69, 11, and the 77, and uh, 25 for their respective spots. CO3 getting a bit of damage uh, there on the stack up. But ultimately, uh, Henson has gotten away with this lead. Uh, it has now been subtracted once again, reduced... As uh, we rack them back up for yet another restart. Under caution for the third, third time today here. At most, Boar will take you guys back to the restart here soon enough. 
All right, coming back to the green flag here soon at Canadian Tire. Uh, it's Rose Henson who still leads as we are coming to uh, the two-thirds point in this race with a 69 resting right behind. Uh, the 11 of Evan Hunter sits in third, was going to be fourth, but the 31 kind of took the corner wide and ended up into the tire barriers. The 29 of Zachary Delo in fourth, gained a few spots from that restart. So did the 32 of Doge Borkington, and the big loser in this is the 77 of Marcus Yepes, who is back down to sixth place, while Hunter is in third. But we'll see, Hunter didn't really get that good of a restart last time. In the 77, he could have really pounced on that moment, but I think... Uh, DeLillo had something to say about that, either that or his DJ Reed, who tried to pass him there at the last minute, but nonetheless, we are coming to the green flag once again, as I come across the line, we're back racing here, and they're already trying to wreck kind of back there. Once again, a good gap for Henson, and a good jump for Yep as he's going to try and get a spot away from Borkington. But Borkington, I thought he cleared, but he did not. A couple of blue and black cars battling for the spot, but the 32 is going to clear. And Yep is now back battling with the 25. Looks like the 69 keeps the spot. The 29 might be on the move, trying to get... To the inside of Hunter here. 77. Trying to get to the inside of Borkington still. They'll be side by side. Going uphill here. Into the Mario Andretti straight away. I think. Looks like the 77 is going to have to file in back behind. So this is the battle right here. There's a difference between. A 10-point gap, or a 10-point increase from Evan Hunter back there. Got some trouble with Colin Teague. He is in the barriers, and we got another caution out on the racetrack. Another restart for everyone to survive. And this time, it'll be with very few laps to go. The 99 of Colin Teague. We'll see if he went wide there, if there was some contact to... Uh, caused this collision with the wall, but ultimately we're under caution for the fourth time today. Hopefully the last, as, uh, as caution is becoming a bit too much here at Canadian Tire. We'll take a look at this one. We'll take a look at a replay. Get back to the restart here soon. So here it is. I think it is between the 04 and 99. McShane kind of pushes the 99 out of the way, and it's kind of an MW Racing tag team there with the 02 game at 99 at the very end. So yeah, here it is in full. The 04 kind of roughs up the 99 out of the way. And I don't know, the 99 kind of looked like he cut down, but the 02 kind of saves himself from going into the barrier and instead almost comes back up in front of his team owner. Beats him to the line there, so uh, that's good for him. But, uh, yeah, once again, we are under caution. It'll be another restart that Rose Henson will have to survive, but she's been a, doing a good job doing it uh, for these past four restarts. We'll see if that same trend will continue as we come to the green flag in a couple of laps with just a few to go here at Cana uh, Canadian Motorsports Park. All right, so one to go to the green here at Mosport. When we restart, it will be four laps remaining in this event. Just four laps for these guys to make up whatever spots they can uh, in the uh, points in the results for this race. Because some people are definitely out of the road since in 16th in points. She's just looking for another win. Uh, her first win came at Dubai, another road course. So she's looking to go two for four, win 50% of the road course races this season. Same behind her, though, is someone who really wants to win. DJ Reed was just uh, heavily gapped in the points. It was 90, now it's 140. He's looking to will that gap back down 
again, but behind him is points leader Evan Hunter, who might have something to say about that. Then it's the 29, a Nova Sport car, Zachary Delolo, looking right behind Evan Hunter. The 32, who has been strong against the 77 all race, and the 25, 28, 89, and 04. Running out the top 10, back green. And yet another good restart for Henson, but not a good restart for Yepes. The 25 immediately gets under him. Looks like Yepes will have the preferred lane going into this corner. But that's putting him behind the 8-ball for if he wants to catch the 32. Hunter's... Are we looking for cleaner on the 69? So is the 29. He might peek to the inside of Hunter here. I don't know, not quite. Maybe not this time, but it'll be the 32 looking to the inside 29. They're going to be the ones side by side heading into the Mario Andretti straightaway and into turn number 8. Now the 25 is going to try again on Marcus Yepes here for 7th. Maybe a bit of contact between those two. 69, I don't know. He, I thought I saw him get kind of into the grass. Oh, look out. That was definitely contact between 25 and 77 there. Three laps remain. I think no one's catching Rose Henson. She has been the class of the field all day. Mastering every restart. But we'll see what happens back here, though. As there'll be three cars to separate the 77 to 11. And this is not good news for Yepes here. As right behind him is uh, EKH Enterprises driver Kirsten Martinez. What will she do to try and make sure that uh, her owner is in the championship battle? Here's the 29, trying to go for a spawn, the 32. Delolo was just uh, bounced right back up into the top 10 in points after having a miserable few races. He is uh, back into, I don't want to say title contention, but he's in the general vicinity. We'll see what he can do. In these final uh, now two races after today as we just have two laps remaining and it'll just basically be a game of if the 77 can catch the 25 back or if any of these guys will make contact up here looks like Cologne is trying anything he can to get past the 29 of Zach Cologne he is 200 back he he might just be out of it in points but you know it Having a good result, probably not going to hurt. He will definitely gain points on Yepes. But we'll have to see as uh, these drivers make it through turn five here. The Moss Corner can be tricky, but it seems like no one has really missed it today. But Henson has... Easily built up a two-plus second lead over DJ Reed. And it looks like this one might be over. Oh, Reed into the wall. And we'll see here. This is going to be close now with the 11 approaching big time. White flag is out. The caution's out. Did it happen before we got to the line? I think it might have. We will still race to the scheduled distance. But now the 32 is behind the 11 car. Are we sure? They seem to be going kind of slow. Now they're speeding up here. So yeah, I, I just think the 86 might be in a league of her own. But right now, the battle is right here. 
Bumper to bumper to bumper. Uh, 32 got tight there. These guys just might be set in stone. But back up here, Rose Henson rounds the final three corners through 8, 9, and 10. The 86 Toyota is going to get her second win of the season here at Mo Sport. And I think these guys did indeed finish the race. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure why that happened. Uh, the timing of the caution might have been weird. Uh, the 89 all torn up. We'll have to see what that's about. But uh, it's, it's just going to be a quick replay and then... We'll get back to the uh, results in the 86's burnout here. So right here, the 89 is going to get into the 04, spin her out, and get into the wall himself. Now, if we look back here, just going to rewind for a second. We got to check out when the moment of caution was. All right, there it is, and that's where the 86 is, so these guys have already raced it back, so they're already uh, set in stone. And uh, so that was it for them, I guess, Hanson, you know, probably just wanted to do some sort of victory lap, but she had the win pretty much locked up anyways with those guys back there. Going caution pace, uh, yeah, not sure what that was about, but regardless, it was Rose Henson winning today here at Mo Sport. Uh, second place was DJ Reed, and I'd say that would be a big game for him if the 11 wasn't right behind him. The 32 of Doge Borkington rounds up fourth, fifth is Zachary Dolo, another top five day for him, and sixth is Stephen Cologne. Seventh place is, uh, Second in points, Marcus Yepes, and this will be a, uh, I don't know, let's see, at least a 20-point gain on um, him by Evan Hunter. So 134, uh, 135 points are paid for a third-place finisher, and the 115 are paid for a seventh. So it'll be, yeah, 100%, 20 points. Uh, the gap will be back up to 60, so... Once again, the progress has been undone on the points lead that uh, Yepes was trying to shrink. A 28 of Kirsten Martinez gets 8th place. Ninth place was uh, the 0-2 uh, Thomas Pelagia, and right at the top 10 was Jay Jefferson. Uh, Mathis Wells gets 11th. The 89 gets 12th. Uh, Hector RC had a good run going, but he takes it wide into the corner, going to one of the restarts, and once again, Anjato kind of implodes together. And, uh, yeah, I think this season is pretty much over for them. They've just got to hope that next season is a bit more kind to them, because, uh, this one is not, uh, working out. The 04 did not finish... The race, I don't think she had it into the tire barriers unless her pit stall was ahead of the start finish line, which I, I bet she, it was. Same with the 89. But the 15, 99, 36, 10, 17, 84, and 12 all not on the lead lap. So this race provided some excitement at times. It was it was definitely hard to pass people, not to the same degree as say a short track but um i would say to the same degree as uh, i would say maybe road america it was definitely hard to pass road america the only chance of passing at road america was a mistake happening and that was pretty much it and I would probably liken this to a mixture between uh, Dubai and Road America. Maybe some Watkins Glen with how many cautions we've gone there. But the 
uh, difficulty to pass, but it was... That still didn't prevent it from being somewhat exciting. There was some drama between the title guys, but ultimately this kind of spreads out the championship field again, and we'll have to see what happens next race at Auto Club. The the maximum points that can be gained in in one race is a uh, 140-point gain. So if... uh, Marcus Yepes wins the race and Evan Hunter crashes out, finishes last, then that is the scenario that would point the 77 to a staggering points lead, really. But if he wanted to tie at least Evan Hunter, let's see, he he will have a 60-point lead heading into today. They will have to finish... Um, let's see. So once again, 10th and 11th are separated by 15 points. So they'd have to finish outside, inside, one inside and one outside of that. So if Yepes finishes second and gets 140 points... And, uh, Hunter gets 12th. That would tie things up. But, once again, we're going to have to see what happens. Because Hunter and Yepes both were very strong at Auto Club when we went there the first time. And it'll be a totally different atmosphere under the lights. So, uh, we'll have to see what happens there. But it will be too two-mile racetracks to end the season nonetheless and uh two very exciting races coming up here shortly well we will decide this title here and uh maybe it will be evan hunter running away with it or maybe marcus yepes will be able to close it back in and get the uh points lead who knows but that is all a mystery for now we're gonna have to find out once these races happen but for now thank you for watching the gamer on our sportsman series we'll see you next time